But I heard an atheist ask a good question today, well, on YouTube. He said, uh, can he have faith if you, he cannot use, if he doesn't trust the Bible as his source, can he have faith? Well, you can. And here's why. I'll answer for uh, the atheist out there. Well, Jesus has healed me seven times. Twice of deafness in this left ear. I uh, once almost cut one of these fingers off laying on the floor. I don't even have a scar on it now. That beautiful sky behind me, above me, is also proof of God's existence. These trees, proof of God's existence. These, sh these flowers. It's actually my dog. My dog's is buried underneath there as his burial. Over top of him, I built the flower thing. But, um,. Yes, uh, throughout history, uh, several thousands of accounts of healing um, on demand. When I, my back was healed, when I was healed, it was when I asked Jesus to heal me, and he healed me. It was no, uh, nothing else. It was no, it wasn't psychological. It wasn't, or I would have been healed before. So one of those was back pain I went through for seven years before um, watching a guy on TV and he said Jesus is healing all back pain right now I accepted it claimed it felt a warm sensation in my back and I've never had that pain since uh, several years ago um, there's the Shroud of Turin the Shroud of Turin is Jesus' burial cloth there are 3D images in that. There are mathematical equations in that. Um, when they um, examine that, there's uh, the 3D image. That, um, and the other market said it, it could only be done with a 3D uh, plasma laser. And the technology to this day still does not exist. So... Um, Plus all the mathematical equations and the information they got out of it. So imagine they didn't even release part of it. So that's been Satan's whole thing is to prove, to try to disprove God. That's actually going to be a video thing I'm going to work on, like a documentary. I'm going to prove that the devil, Lucifer, exists. Because guess what? If Lucifer exists, so does God. Because that's who made him. A lot of people don't know, especially if you're atheist or something, uh... God made the devil. God, he was one of the angels. Lucifer was one of, was the angel to rebel. He had, the, it tells you in uh, Isaiah, and I don't like the Bible, but in Isaiah it says, he, just his, I think it's 14. He just had the thought that he was going to be greater than God. The second he had, the, the microsecond, he had the thought God cast him down to earth. And that might be where the Grand Canyon came from. I don't know. It's just my theory. Uh, actually, he's a spirit being, but uh, demons are very real. I grew up in a haunted house uh, that was that brought a demon in through a Ouija board. Uh, used to go to psychics, went to psychic church. I have a history. Um, I know a little bit about both sides. So, uh, but you actually, you absolutely can prove that God and Jesus exist without the Bible. For uh, one, look at all, like I said, all the wildlife around me, the birds, uh, they're just a thousand. I think they discovered something like 3,000 new species a year, something like that. I mean, if you include insects and all that, so it's in plant life. For was the Big Bang. For the Big Bang, first of all, the Big Bang, where'd the matter come from? I'm glad. Where's your tennis ball, Daisy? Here with my dog. I've got to stop that. I want to forgive if this is a dirty one. Sorry, girl. I have your tennis ball. You're going to tell me that everything in our universe, because this is the theory, because I know the theory, but it came from everything the size of a tennis ball. Now, I know matter and mass is different, and that supposedly, like, a spoonful of Jupiter dirt would, like, take a dump truck to haul or whatever, because of the mass and all that what are ufos ufos and aliens that is the fallen angels in the u.s government and the different governments of the world working together that's what that is uh but it's the fallen angels uh 
if you want to call them alien, because they are not from Earth, I guess they are alien. Um, and that's why they have different looks. Even in your Bible, it tells you different looks. The creatures that surround the throne, some of them have four heads. Some of them are covered with eyeballs. Um, you know, who are we to judge what God makes? And if you want to take into, uh, to prove the Bible, that um, just the prophecies about Jesus alone that he fulfilled, uh, her preacher in Texas, uh, I can't think of his name. But anyway, um, just imagine Texas. Imagine just the, the probability of Jesus fulfilling all the prophecies that he fulfilled. Let's say even 14 of them, just to fulfill 14 of those, would be like filling the entire state of Texas with um, silver dollars, coin dollars, two feet high. The entire state, two feet high, of silver dollars. And then we're going to mark one of those silver dollars with a green pen. Or we'll just put a gold one in there. We'll put a gold, put a gold dollar in there with the silver dollars. And fill the whole state of Texas, the largest flat state that we have, because um, California actually would be bigger, bigger if you flattened it all out. Uh, if you could go into the state blindfolded on your first try and pull that coin off the ground, that is the amount of statistical probability it took for Jesus to fulfill all those prophecies, if you could do that. Okay, so there absolutely is proof that Jesus is real. So thanks for watching.